Uh, I came from Egypt after the 1967 war in the Middle East. So I arrived in 69, so there were some problems also here. So there were lots of uh, uh, hurdles and barriers that uh, one has to cross. But uh, I'm always one of these people that uh, like to cross barriers mm -hmm. and like to go over hurdles. And I, I must say, America gave me the opportunity. America uh, allowed me to do what I wanted to do. Uh, uh, universities were just fantastic uh, opportunity, University of Pennsylvania and Berkeley, and uh, just learning and, and seeing that the libraries are working 24 hours uh, and I can go anytime. So the opportunity was there. It just that I had to cross this uh, barriers and hurdles. For the first time in the last few years, we're seeing that that uh, stream of amazing talent that has always come from overseas to America to study is kind of diminished. It's harder to to get the visas. It's harder to come over here and study. And you know, it seems to me like it's a big loss for for people on both sides. We are going to lose our connections to the countries like Egypt, but to other countries all over the world, and they're also going to lose some of their connections to America. So. Well, I, from my perspective, actually, this is a very unfortunate uh, situation. I do understand the issue of security, and I think that that's the issue that the country has to worry about. However, it will be, uh, it will be a serious mistake that uh, under this uh, umbrella of terrorism and all of this stuff, that we lose on these two-way connections. When you educate a Chinese or an Egyptian and they come here and they get their PhD and they go back, for that small amount of money that we offer here in this country for this education, relatively speaking, they are the best ambassadors of American cultures, of American traditions, of American uh, knowledge. And so I, I will think that even if they go back, this is very important for this country. On the other hand, if they stay here, uh, they provide tremendous uh, asset to this country scientifically, yeah. uh, also in uh, pushing the frontiers of technology, and on the top of all of this, in giving America the ethnic mix uh, that we all enjoy here in this country. And so I am uh, concerned about this, and you should know that American graduate school uh, are reaching 50% of its workforce are from foreign students. And so if we lose this, this is a big loss for America.